my dear seekers it has been a great pleasure and privilege talking to you on the topic of spirituality some time back we have commenced the topic of spiritual vocabulary with an intention to bring the perspective of various terms and terminologies used by various masters in order to understand the science of spirituality in some of the previous episodes i have spoken about the origin of spirituality and its application for the practical life going forward i felt for any beginner to understand the science of spirituality in order to apply more fruitfully in their personal life it is extremely important to understand what this whole science is talking about when we have started learning physics for example we started understanding the various terms and terminologies the concepts the law governing the physical world in the same way in the science of spirituality it's extremely important to understand the various uh, aspects of the concepts which form the building block of spirituality in today's session i would like to deal with the concept of the terminology called vasanas many people have asked me in the past to explain the concept of vasana what does it really mean and what's its implication in our life let us start with the very basic aspects of human personality human beings are the only creation among the various uh, creations that have come into this planet in the millions of years are capable of thinking and making choices so we have seen that the earlier rung of the creation still the animal kingdom these species have no freedom to make any choices because they have been created with a clear instinct which controls their life but when the human beings have been created we have been bestowed with a enormous amount of cerebral capabilities with which we are able to understand and experience the world and also apply many of our faculties for making our life more comfortable sanskrit meaning of the word vasana means is fragrance so what do you mean by fragrance from a flower if somebody is keeping a rose flower in their pocket although you may not be able to see the flower but still you will be able to experience the fragrance of the rose flower that means the flower manifests its own fragrance through the various media and reaches our consciousness and we realize that somebody is holding a rose flower so that means vasana really means fragrance so what does that really mean in the human life vast majority of the human beings are thinking and acting from the various faculties they have using the instrument called mind in the future sessions we will discuss in more detail about what do you mean by mind because that becomes an independent spiritual vocabulary so today we will deal with the concept of vasana we find every human being in creation are unique and they are distinct from the rest of the people who have come into this planet it's very strange to see how the nature is creating different human beings with the different aspects of their own qualities of thinking and acting so this uniqueness is going on forever that means every individual given the same circumstances are trying to react in a different way for example if you offer a bottle of whiskey single malt whiskey to a person who is a habitual drinker it immediately attracts him and it catches and holds it in his bosom and then he wants to go and enjoy the drink at the same time 
if the whiskey is offered to a person who is a teetotaler who never likes to drink and it has got a repulsive reaction from him the whiskey bottle remaining the same it creates a entirely a different reactions from different people now if you really look at it in a more active manner you will find if the whiskey bottle has got the ability to attract it should attract all the human beings but it varies from person to person that means there is something intrinsically present in the individual that is really manifesting in the form of his behavior that means a teetotaler reacts that whiskey is not really is going to give him any happiness while the other person who is a habitual drinker is immediately reacting with the interest of uh, catching the bottle and running away so what it shows is based on the various conditioning and the various way their life has gone through in this generation as well as in the previous generations the person develops a kind of a tendency kind of an attitude towards everything so that means the vasana really means is the intrinsic attitude of the person or the intrinsic tendency he has got towards any aspects of the human world so vasana is nothing but a collection of subconscious behaviors subconscious conditioning with which a person is responding with a different kind of a behavior under different kind of circumstances so vasana is an accumulation of several experiences the people have gone through and then they have formed an internal subconscious intuitive opinion about it which is residing in his subconscious mind without the person himself knowing about it so the accumulation of the vasana creates the personality of the person that is how we see all the children who are born one ends up as a criminal the other person ends up as a saint <coughs> so when all of us are born with the same opportunity why someone becomes a criminal the someone else is become a saint is because of the accumulation of the vasanas in them so there are several theories behind how the vasana is packaged and carried forward when the person dies etc we will see those things in the coming sessions but the purpose of this session is to understand what is this terminology vasana really means unfortunately english is not a powerful language to explain the various concepts of spirituality because the tendency is a very approximate translation of the word vasana and why it is called vasana in sanskrit is because it is residing in an intrinsic form inside the person unless otherwise you see the behavior of that person you will not able to recognize from what kind of a vasana the person is manifesting his or her behavior so that is why in any management selection process they would like to examine the attitude of the person before they could try to see what kind of a knowledge that person has got that means uh, the intrinsic uh, attitude is a very approximate uh, explanation of the word vasana but it is uh, in the absence of any perfect uh, translation uh, i am just trying to use these english words for conveying the connotation of the word vasana so going forward uh, we will discuss this in greater detail how these vasanas are forming and how one can understand what are their own vasanas whether these vasanas can be purgated and replaced with a different vasana all these aspects can be discussed in the coming sessions i hope this session has given you some kind of a perspective what is this terminology vasana really means thank you very much for your continued patronage of listening to some of my podcast on the subject of uh, pragmatic spirituality look forward to talk to you in more and more topics in the coming sessions 
in the meantime if you would like to continue to listen to me kindly subscribe this channel and also press the bell icon in the youtube so that you can get a immediate uh, update whenever i am posting the next episode thank you very much may god bless you for a wonderful spiritual experience and also a safe and healthy life for you and your family thank you very much good day